And all of a sudden, John Elway has leapt into action. The Denver Broncos GM punctuated a busy week of roster decisions on Friday with a flurry of moves. With Saturday's deadline to cut the roster down to the final 53 players looming, Elway crystallized a few positions by making two trades. It started on Wednesday when the Broncos traded third-year cornerback Isaac Yadam to the New York Giants in exchange for a 2021 seventh-round pick. Yadam, a 2018 third-round pick of Denver's, failed to really take that step forward in his development the team was hoping to see with a full season of playing in Vic Fangio's scheme under his belt. Fangio's zone-based coverage scheme is more complex than the man coverage philosophy of the previous coaching regime that was on hand for the drafting of Yadam. Despite his draft pedigree, Yadam simply did not fit or develop. Next, the Broncos made a trade that would foreshadow a stunning roster cut. Denver dealt defensive lineman Christian Covington to the Cincinnati Bengals in exchange for linebacker Austin Calitro. On Friday, we learned from KUSA's Mike Kliss that the Broncos had tried twice previously to land Calitro, and when the opportunity knocked to finally get him in the orange and blue, Elway pounced. With yet another linebacker in the fold, which came just four days removed from the Mark Barron edition, the Broncos handed four-year starter Todd Davis his walking papers, releasing him Friday afternoon. Davis was one of three players remaining on the roster from the Broncos' Super Bowl 50 champion squad and was coming off back-to-back -back seasons with 100-plus tackles. But a calf injury derailed his training camp, giving other linebackers like Josie Jewell the exposure and opportunity to shine. Jewell capitalized, as did the Broncos, who did not sit idly on their hands and went out and signed Barron. It's been a busy few days, but the whirlwind might not yet be over. Kliss reported on Friday on 104.3 The Fans, Stokely and Zach show, that after speaking with Elway, he got the feeling that the Broncos could make another wow move before the season opener on September 14th. And Kliss wasn't talking about another surprise cut, but rather a trade. Elway might not be done wheeling and dealing. So keep your phones handy and bookmark milehighhuddle.com because this long Labor Day weekend is sure to offer up a few more surprises and maybe some breaking news. For Mile High Huddle and Sports Illustrated, I'm Chad Jensen.